the final of the Kazoo Champion of Champions! <laughs> One hundred and fifty. The trophy on the line. Best of 19 frames. This is it. Two snooker champions in their own right. This is it. Let's get them to the table up first. It's the 2020 champion of champions. It's the pistol, Mark Allen. <laughs> And his opponent is the 2021 Champion of Champions. It's the ace in the pack, Judd Tron! Between them, they've won 54 pro titles, over 12 million pounds in combined career prize money. They've made over 1,500 centuries in professional competition. This is the cream of the crop. This is the champion of champions. Yes, Phil, and what a wonderful reception for both players. The handshake in front of the trophy. And what a beautiful trophy it is. Really looking forward to this final. Best of 19. It should be a cracker, Phil. The only thing we can predict with any certainty, a left-hander will triumph. Thank you, the first frame. Judge Trump's a break. And if you don't think this will be close, well, maybe take a look at the numbers. So evenly contested based on what they've done in the tournament so far. Pod success rate, Allen just edging it by a single percentage, both in the 90s. Ball spotted, Trump has spotted 10 more than Allen. And I think the most striking statistic, look at the total points, just a 31 point differential. Trump's lost seven frames to get here. Allen's only lost five. Yeah, very close figures, as you mentioned, Phil. I think if you probably went before this tournament on figures, you would say because of Judd Trump's success, winning three titles. This is fifth final already this season. He would say, well, Trump is a massive favorite. But then when you watch the way Mark Allen played last night and dispatched John Higgins quite convincingly, there's definitely a case for Mark Allen, of course, as well. A tough opponent. And he's got success against Judd Trump in finals, of course, as well. That will stand to him, but I think, you know, it'll give him great confidence that match last night. The bookmakers have Trump around the one to two favourite mark. Mark Allen, something like six to four, 13 to eight. Not the connection.
action he was hoping for on the red, but he'll settle for it. No damage done. A cup of hot water. I've been complaining that sometimes it's been a little bit cold in the arena. He suffers from cold hands, and that's why he likes to have a cup of hot water there at his chair. It's not been as cold as that time you played Mark Williams in Germany. Kenan, the heating broke down and the mid-session interval lasted nearly two hours while they fixed it. It's pretty good. He's got the cover. Got to be a little bit prudent here with this shot. Got to drop it into the right hand side of the pack. But if it slides off one of those reds, there's two reds at the bottom of the pack that are available. Oh, this looks good. Well, <laughs> would have preferred touching ball because he's left Mark Allen. Long straight red. So, first opportunity to have a go at a pot here. Excellent. Yeah, good shot. Yeah, there's a couple of reds. Those couple of reds I spoke about earlier. I think he's got an angle. There you see, and the black is available too. Seven. This is where he's normally so good. Spoke about his very short backswing. You might see a little bit of evidence through this break. His cue ball control. When he's on form, is exemplary. The loose red just at the bottom of the pack now. He'll, he'll want to have a little angle on that after potting this black so he can release some more reds from the pack. We've got to finish low on it. Twenty-two. It's not too bad. He's got a slight angle. He can store up a couple of reds here. Stay on the black. Yeah, lovely. Beautiful shot. Not just in. He was in with a, a confidence booster. The technical requirements of the opening red. Strike queuing was. Imperative. Hmm. But they're a snag. Yeah, hit the wrong red here. He's trying to hit the second red in. Have a look at this. Just the second red. That's the red he was trying to hit. Hit the wrong one. So I'd be disappointed with that. Can't really do much here. Trying to get back the ball would be a little bit dangerous. Too much traffic in the way. So I may just rest this cue ball on the top cushion. Be handy advantage to his opponent, but as long as he doesn't leave a pot. He's 
contemplating nestling into the pack of reds, but that would sort of create a little standoff. That's what he's doing, but well, could be here for a little while because Judd Trump won't be doing Mark much Allen, unless he's got a gap. He may have left the gap, you know, to get back to ball care. Does that cue ball fit though through those two reds? Yeah, it does. And he's played a good one. Trump's safety in this tournament has been integral to his success so far. It's been excellent. Yeah, I couldn't agree more, Phil. I think there's a lot of evidence of that against Sean Murphy and in his group on some really close frames and in fact one of one of the frames and needed a couple of snookers. I think the safety game Trumps has improved exponentially over the last couple of seasons. Chance for a pot here. Not a great amount of jeopardy with that shot. But had it gone in, it could have led to a big reward. Oh. Well, almost went wrong. Trying to put a red safe with a 30 point lead. But it's left to Trump possible pot into this bottom left corner pocket. It doesn't look like he's going to entertain it. Now two reds awkward, and that's obviously to the advantage of the, the player ahead, even though it is only a 30-point a gap. Possible pot to the green pocket. Once again, playing it with an element of safety. But this time, the extreme right red of the bunch. And even a red just to the left of the bunch is potable into the left center. Judd wasn't expecting to leave this red. Missing it has left the red just to the right of that bunch there. I think that's available up into the yellow pocket. But there's a bit of pressure on this because I don't think you can play it with an element of safety. It's got to be full blooded. He's going to be leaving a red should he miss. So here goes. Well, 
He didn't play that too confidently, Phil. Look where the cue ball finished. Yeah, that's it. It's a typical first frame, this. Both players trying to weigh into the match. Get rid of the early inevitable nerves. Wonderful plot. Excellent queuing. <coughs> yeah, the opening red from the angle he potted it. The entrance into Six. the pocket is almost non existent. No margin of error whatsoever. Well, let's let that one go. I was trying to hold for the red into the right centre, yeah, but well. look how far the cue ball has travelled. So, left a little bit awkward. I may have to play it down into this bottom right corner pocket now. Still available into the right center, but very acute angle. Bottom right corner it is. Yeah, good recovery. Oh. Fifty. The red not exactly clean. There may be one right. red into the left center pocket. He has an angle to go into the pack here. Yeah, but that red, it is available into the left. So he had a look at it earlier. Red and black will put him 68 ahead with 67 remaining. 31. Lovely shot. And a nice angle now just to split up these. Red's just above the black. Delicate little cannon into them. Yeah, lovely. Beautiful. Good stuff, this, Phil. 38. Yes, the key shot in this frame, undoubtedly the recovery pot after his second positional error. Unlike Mark Allen to make one positional error in a frame, let alone two. But he papered over the cracks. This is the ball. Let's set all of this up.
45. Fifty eight. Fifty nine. Mathematically enough on the table to make a century to open with. Oh, the snooker gods say and no. But in two scoring visits, breaks of 30 and then 59, Allen is the first to get off the mark. Welcome back to Bolton. The first time these two played in professional competition, second, it was in the Bahrain Mark Championship Allen. 15 years ago. That was a tournament notable for a lack of crowds. No such problem today. Wonderful audience. Not a seat to be had. Crowds have been great all week, haven't they? As you said, packed down to the rafters this afternoon and this evening, I'm sure. Wonderful atmosphere in there. Totally engrossed. Hmm. Not the best, didn't get the cue ball far enough down the table towards this top cushion. Uh, there's this red go by the blue and the yellow up into the yellow pocket. I think it does, will he take it on? Taking it on, is it there? Oh. Has he got the cover? I think he has. Well, has he got the cover on the red into the left center? Maybe not. Yeah. First put, pot oh. off the mark. Nice little kiss off the pack of reds. down for most of the first frame. How can he respond here? Seven. Could have done a little bit more left hand side to get closer to the blue. to take a ball colour instead now. <coughs> oh, he's played this nicely. Ten. Well, 
was he on this red? Sixteen. <coughs> Pretty tight. May be able to pot it, but he's got to work that cue ball off these reds, try and get back up for blue or ball colour here. Oh, look at that for a shot. Look at that for a shot. 17. Wow. Bless with such cue power. Have a look at the cue ball here. It stops and goes again. And the side spin off the side cushion. Just wonderful cue power. Yeah, it just fizzes and fizzes again. 21. Needs to bounce this cue ball. Missable these blacks. Not easy. No, oh, he's got it. He's got it. Great shot. Very difficult that was into it. What we call a blind pocket, but nicely played and nicely on this red. Yes, and the black, apart from being brilliant, could be pivotal. It's opened up the frame. Yeah, here's the shot again. Say, you can't see the pocket when you're down on that shot. That's why it's called a blind pocket, but beautifully played. It's okay. When he pots this red, he'll 43. be dislodging those couple of reds just below the pink. May bring them into play. And he wants the red just to hold up, but he's okay. And there really is no one better at going in and out of bulk off a of blue than Trump. Fifty seven. So blue, and one more red to leave Mark Allen needing the snooker. Sixty-three. Sixty-four. Yeah, this is the start we wanted Phil, from both players. Sometimes finals have a lot of hype and start off a little bit slow. This one certainly hasn't done that at all. Both players, clear evidence of him fine Seven. form. It's been a wonderful break. He's had to work very hard for it in and out of bulk a couple of times. 71. Yes, and now the mind goes away from winning frame, which he's already done to making a century. He's very proud of his century break totals and wants to 
set new records. He's got a wonderful platform to do so this Seven season. Seconds. Seventy-nine. Much like the first frame. Eighty-six. Thoughts of a century might well have gone out of the window. Well, can he come up with a magical plant here? Or a double? A double? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Out of the window, back in the front door. <laughs> I'll tell you what, he hasn't got a bad angle on this green. Watch this, try and dislodge the red of two cushions, possibly three. Let's see, has he got enough spin on it? Go on. Go on. Oh, it's not bad. I think he's knocked it on, you know. 90. <laughs> Thanks, Fantastic. Wife. He's already played an incredible shot in this championship, but probably one Thanks. of the best shots that we've seen in snooker. Well, he's played a couple in this frame as well. Nice Such hit. a shot maker. Forty-six centuries this season. Already one more for Trump than he made in the entire campaign last time around. Hundred and ten. That is just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. What a shot that is. Wow. We're referring Jackson to the Monopolies Commission. He's got the hot shots all to himself. What a response. It's 1-1. And that's a shot that again will live long in the memory. <laughs>The crowd are buzz, and after that break from Judd Trump, no wonder. We saw three hot shots towards the tail Thank end you, of it. A brilliant double Good to keep it going me. when I thought it was over. Then the, the shot to get the last red out, and the one that topped the lot, the pink to middle. He's back on level terms. But whatever you do, <laughs> don't hit the blue. <laughs> Always, when you're playing safety shots, you've got to watch where, not only where the cue ball is going, but where the object ball is going as well. This time, the one has popped its head over this left corner pocket. One. the angle on the green here to try and screw up with the red just below the pack or the red that's close to this bottom right corner pocket 
I'm trying to put it in an area here. Needs to slow down the cue ball. Yeah, it's not too bad. Would have liked to be in a bit higher on this red that he could have dropped onto the black. He can't do that now. May have to go into the reds here. Not guaranteed. Had to use a lot of power. He's blessed with a lot of power himself. Can he get that cue ball away from the reds here? Allen. Maybe Mark Allen a couple of years ago would have taken that yellow one, but trying to keep it tight. Don't blame him for that. Three consecutive shots he's misjudged. Trump. And now because no contact was made, he will be warned by the referee, Brendan Moore. Oh, there's no prize for guessing. He's not going to play the same shot again. He's got to make contact with the red, and he fell. See him warning. We get the warning now. There you see it. He's got to hit a red here. But be careful, it doesn't miss Q. Yeah, no problem. And when that rule was first brought in, the first beneficiary was the man sitting on my right hand side. And the player who fell foul of it, unbelievably, was Steve Davis. Yeah, it was, yeah. The Irish Masters many moons ago. Final frame as well. Missed the red three times, lost the frame and lost the match, Steve. I was gutted. I can't let that one go. He wasn't gutted, I can tell you. He was delighted. <laughs>
This looks short, is it? Is it gonna reach? Is it gonna reach? Oh, oh yes. Oh, Callum. this time just not far enough across with the cue ball here it's the part way down the left hand side here for Judd Trump now Mark Allen possible chance of this red into the Right corner pocket. Not easy to hold for the black here. You'd have to maybe use a red to stop the cue ball. You may not even attempt this red. Yeah, picked another one out. Cue ball going very close to the green pocket though. A shot to nothing. In the end, it was less than nothing. Could be trouble. But as you could see from that red, it didn't go into the middle of the pocket. And because of that, cue ball wasn't held for the black into the opposite corner. Yeah, just watch the red here. Watch where it goes into the pocket. Left-hand side, not in the middle. Had it gone in the middle of the pocket, it would have been okay. Trump. It's time. Advantage to Trump. Good way to cue ball.
Bump. Mark Allen. Compliment returned. Well, once again, a possible pot on for Mark Allen, but doesn't look like he's going to take it on. Evidence of Mark Allen's game plan here. I'm gonna try and find a way to play tough match play snooker against a man who's well having such a wonderful season. I'm gonna play tough snooker, he's gonna bide his time and try and when he gets his chance, he's able to score just as well as Trump is, but he's gonna be a little bit more patient. Try and break down Trump's game in, in a way and then pounce when the opportunity arises. <coughs> Once again, another excellent safety shot for Mark Allen. Green pocket seems like a magnet at the moment. Ooh, almost. Alan the first to blink, multiple kisses, cue ball still at the business end of the table. Yes, Mark Allen made a mistake, but that was a pretty good opener from Judd Trump. What will it yield? Oh, this is a wonderful shot. Straight down for the red on the black spot. Just ran just a couple of inches too far to be straightforward to hold for the black. This looks very good. Right-handed as well. Look at this for a shot. Perfect on the red. Eight. Couldn't have placed that better with his hand. Wonderful positional shot. His century in the previous frame was tough to compile where the balls are here. Making a sizable contribution 70. even tougher. You should never count him out.
pancing. It's got to stay high on the black here, the cue ball. Leave himself an angle, which he has done. Now he's got a perfect angle here. He can play for the loose red just below the black to the left, or he can play a cannon on those two reds that are close together. Try and knock one of the reds towards that right corner. You see there's sort of a plant towards that right corner. If he gets the contact on the first one, the second one should go over the corner pocket. There you go. Well, that's pretty good. He was settled for that. Excellent shot. 32. 33. Another little clever shot, just knocking the red oh. off that top cushion, just to make it a little bit easier for him. This red, pretty close to the cushion here. You've just got to 48. give these a little bit of attention. You'll have to play it with a bit of pace. That's why he's just dropped it in. He's afraid of it a little bit. He plays the black, taking the cue ball in and out of bulk on a regular basis when he's pulling off exhibition shots at the end of frames already won, but this frame is yet to be won. Has he got an angle on this black? Try and disturb this red just below the pink. He may do. He may do indeed, and what a nice shot that was. Excellent. This is worth another look. Beautifully played, perfect connection on the red. He's paired if he gets a good angle on this black when he put in this red. Mm, look straight, look straight from here. Let's have a look at the angle. Can he do something with the cue ball? You see, it's sort of going the wrong way. Needed to be higher on that black, so he could just stun off one cushion in behind that red. The angle is not fantastic. Looks like he's gearing up, maybe to play possible double. Maybe just even looking at it possible safety shot after this, so it's going to be no attempt to, to get close to this red. So 
so it is a, a double or a safety shot. 60. When players have been playing doubles, quite often the red has come off a little squarer off the cushion they anticipate, which means that if he does take on the double, it might hit that near jaw of the left hand middle pocket. If he was playing the safety shot, Phil, it wouldn't be a bad idea to see if he could just try and nudge the pink off the cushion with the cue ball and send the red up into the bulk area. That wouldn't be because he's going to need that pink eventually. A 17 point deficit. Blue and pink at the moment, from Trump's point of view, are in a favourable position, but certainly not for Allen. It's a possibility of maybe just disturbing the pink if he can. Well, he's played a good shot though. Okay. He'll be happy with that. Excellent snooker. Left the pink there, but that could come into play a little bit later on. As he left the red, is the red potable past the brown? I think there might be enough room, yeah. I think he may be able to reach the fact that he's a left hander, maybe able to reach across this, just but not an easy pot, this at all. Just I'm gonna look at the angle. That red, the black and the yellow would have been enough for Trump to leave Alan requiring a snooker. At least no damage done. Normally when you have a, a double kiss playing safe, it's not good news. Here, Mark Allen has been very fortunate. Good shot from his opponent, Mark Allen, as he came to the table. <coughs> try and knock the red up towards the black and try and get that cue ball maybe behind green or brown. This looks good. This looks very good indeed. Excellent shot. This time, not straightforward to hit this. Pink is in the way to come off two cushions on the right-hand side.
Oh, well played. Good shot. But this time, he has left the chance for Mark Allen. And you can flag it up a while ago. The obvious consolation is Trump sits in his chair here. The the relative position of blue and pink. Yeah, I just felt earlier if you got that pink out, which just put a little bit more oh. pressure on his opponent, and give him a chance. If he did. To the table, the possible clearance. Pink could prove the pivotal ball. Blue is not certainly not easy either. And from blue to pink, it's certainly going to be difficult. Alan will need every colour on the table. Yeah, they see eight points behind. <laughs> Brown and blue will put them a point ahead. So pink would only put them seven ahead with the seven remaining, of course, with the black. Fifth. Can he put the blue? Get behind the pink here. It'll be some shot if he does. Oh, this is fantastic. Have a look at this for a shot. Absolutely inch perfect. What a shot. Trump didn't think it was in. We didn't think it was in. But it was. And now Mark Allen has pinched the frame from nowhere. A 32-minute marathon to regain the lead. That was one tight frame. He's two on up. You have to wonder, will history repeat itself? Last night, Mark Allen laid a telling snooker on the last red in frame five against John Higgins. Higgins left the red. Allen tied it up and never looked back. Right now, still very early in the piece, of course. This is a best of 19 frame match. A race to 10. But Allen is competing. There is no doubt whatsoever. And blue to pink. That was the, the crux of the frame we've just seen. He'll be delighted he knocked them both in. Yeah, it wasn't a straightforward clearance, was it? But what a clearance it was. Let's have a look at this. It's worth having a look at it again. Absolutely inch perfect. And a lovely angle on the pink as well, just to drop it Thank in. Thank you, frame four. Mark Allen to Great clearance for Mark Allen. That will give him... Tremendous confidence and belief because Judd Trump made all the running in that frame. So this frame, then the interval. We saw one frame of sheer brilliance from Trump with the 120 second frame, but Alan is so feisty, so stubborn. Such a competitor.
might be worth noting at this juncture that they've played in four finals before and Allen has won three of them. One was a small PTC event in Gloucester. Another was the Paul Hunter Classic in 2014. And of course, we've talked about the World Grand Prix here on ITV last season. Open it. And he's on the pink into the right center. And pink won't go on its spot. Free Brendan Moore. Try and get it as close with spot as possible. More with the black and the top cushion. So. There's only a couple of loose reds available for the Trump start contemplating about disturbing a pack of reds, possibly around that 19. pink area. We'll have a look at the pack here. As long as the pink is not in line with this bottom right corner pocket, he's going to have to be a little bit careful not going into the pack this time, just peeling off the, the loose red. There's one loose red at the bottom of that little bunch of five. There you see it now. This could be a key shot, because when he pots this, he may open the four reds and the pink here. As you look, well, it's not too bad. We'll settle for that. See, the pink is available, so that's handy. Drop in for the pink here. 
13. Further evidence of Trump's abundant Q power, but the kiss wasn't to his liking. Very good indeed. Played for red, just to the left of the pink. Great shot. 42. frames as Mark Allen did in the previous one you think it's gonna have an effect on your opponent and shake him up a little bit but 49 no such evidence of that just yet 50. that's why this match has got the makings of a potential classic because both are playing well at the same time mm. completely agree Trump of the two definitely looks sharper, particularly when he gets his chance. He's scoring a little bit heavier than his opponent, but his opponent is playing wonderful match snooker and proven very tough to shake himself. 57. Now, tantalizingly, Trump does need one more red. Just at the angle on the blue here, just missed the pink. Oh, needed to miss that pink, so frame. Not over yet. time or place to do anything outlandish. You look at the balls at the moment surrounding the black one on the side cushion. You think, how can Alan come back into it? But the, the placement of the balls can change quickly. Trump will be taking nothing for granted, Ken. Definitely not. One safety shot. And those reds around the black and could bring all four reds into play. And that's why Trump just nestled into the reds there. He didn't want to disturb them. He certainly doesn't want to disturb that red towards this right cushion. And this is a shot where he's got to be very careful with. He does try and get the cue ball back to the bulk area. Like that nicely, and you'd be happy with that. decision he has to make here okay brown and green are a good target but he's going to be with pace you've got to be careful he does knock a red towards this right corner pocket <coughs> and there you see it he has he's knocked the red out
Can he put it and get on the black? Couldn't get on the black, but you can certainly get on the pink. Yes, and he's got a few points to play with. there not a couple of inches of the cue ball and it would have been perfect just having a look just checking the scores 55 the difference so still has a little bit of leeway 59 remaining Get at that red to the right centre pocket. It's there. Excellent shot. And he's got a nice angle on the pink. He can play for these two reds just right of the black spot. Let's have a look at these two reds. You see both of them available. Both could have got a little bit strong with the cue ball, just came up a bit short. A little shake of the head. Could have been better. Nicely played and held for the black. Now, the pivotal ball will be that red close to the right hand side cushion. We we'll leave that to the last. He stole frame three. Could he plunder this one? What a blow early on it would be for Trump. Okay, he's perfect on the red, but now you see the angle. He would have liked to be been closer to the right-hand side cushion with the cue ball. Could play for blue here. but it's a natural angle for the cue ball down towards the yellow. Wow, what a clearance this would be. Yeah. It's okay, he's on the yellow. 
36. And now the escape is well and truly on his favourite to win the frame from here. Oh, this is just brilliant, Snooker, from Mark Allen here. The way he's gone about this break. Didn't have much to play with. Have to stay in the high value colours. Well, I know it's early days, Phil, but he steals this sec. This for a second time this frame 45. what a blow it would be to his opponent he's made all the running in these four frames but he could be falling three one behind Fifth. brilliant stuff this what a final we have in store Fifty-six. What a gutsy break this has been. A hammer blow. What a clearance. Jeff Trump has made the highest break of the match so far. He's got a superior pot success rate. What's he got to show for it? A 3-1 deficit at the interval. Well, it's still early days, but two terrific steals from Mark Allen, particularly that Thank last you, frame. frame. What a five. clinical clearance it was. 3-1 he eight. leads. Five more frames to come in this session. People still taking their seats after the interval. Yeah, don't any of the action. Take your seats quickly and quietly, please. Yeah, I think if you had a criticism of Judd for not converting those last two frames, just maybe not as clinical as he has been in recent weeks, finishing the job off in frames where he's had complete control. But every credit to his opponent. It's the close frames that hurt, isn't it? And if you look at the points, Trump's actually in front. You know, you'd think 25 points in front, it'd be the very worst 2-2, you would think. But, of course, those two steals have made the difference. <clears throat> yeah, and Alan McManus is right. It's, it's these long matches, and you've got two players who are pretty equally matched. It's the, the frames that you're not supposed to win that can make the difference. And actually, I mean, that clearance in the last frame that Mark Allen made, that gives you a lot more satisfaction than making up a, a total clearance even. Because you know the importance of it. Yes, he's played very well this week. His best snooker, certainly, of the season. Of course, he won three season, But uh, this is more the sort of Mark Allen we've been used to. Really on his game, not getting bogged down on the front foot. One thing he's never suffered from is temperament. He's always been a big occasion player. So Judd Trump knows this is a very important mini session. Of course, he could end it in front in the final, but needs to certainly be in touch coming back this evening. Yeah, victory in these five frames for Judd. He 
even if it was to win 3 2. We'd obviously still be behind at 5 4, but that'd be very manageable. Even a 3 2 loss, he'd be far from out of it, but he wants to win this little session. makes it an interesting rivalry is that there's not much in them in terms of age there's only three years between them a lot of Trump's rivalries are with considerably older players but this is more a contemporary yeah. Alan does just hold the slight edge 13-11 but he went out of his way didn't he in the interview with Rob to point out that Trump has won considerably more trophies than him so he doesn't see it quite as a sort of light for light rivalry as it were Well, the fact Judd's chalking his cue that his fancies is red to right corner. Okay, he's going to be disappointed because he's wrong side of the blue. But they always send messages to your opponent, those pots. Yeah, it's a real statement that he chose to take it on. Showing Alan that, okay, you stole a couple, I'm still feeling good. I'm still up for this, I still fancy it today. Much as good Six. as he could have done with that blue. He's did well to give himself this red again to the right corner. Seven. Good shot. Cubo's just ran on an inch or two more than would have been perfect, but it's still a nice angle. Play this with top spin really into the bunch. Oh, I don't think he's got anything. Count himself a bit unlucky there. 40. Yeah, disappointing not to be on one. He just took a couple of moments there just to accept it and then try and play the good safety.
three top drawer safety shots there, two by Judd, one by Mark Allen, who has, well, he's, he's, he's dominated the safety, I'd have to say, 86% versus 65, Mark Allen. Of course, it's easy to say this now is in the final and leading, but Mark Allen I think, made quite a good decision actually going home after his group win. It was on the first day, the Monday, because if you sort of hang around the venue, you can just get sort of sucked into sitting around, you know, just chatting, not really spending your time productively. He just got out of the torment environment, went back home, and then came back refreshed for the final push. Safety's got to be good in this match because they're both so aggressive. Alan, not as happy with that one as some of the others. Bit of pressure on this, though. Long pot success over the tournament, 76%, which is pretty good, you have to say. Yeah, that's wonderful. One. There's a little drag on the cue ball to kill the pace. But using drag means you could still hit it positively. Also played it in quite a clever way. But he wasn't leaving anything. The only red he could leave was the one who was playing. And he's played a... Eight. Actually, a very good positional shot there. Looked easy, but it's absolutely to the inch. Nine. That's a big. Visit to the table for Judd Trump. Needs to win the frame at this visit. Should have won the last two frames. But it wasn't clinical enough. So this is... 17. Frame that he needs to win right here and now. He's earned the right to be in this position with three long pots and in this frame and some excellent safety. But that is unforgivable. Incredible and unforgivable to miss that. The thing is, it wasn't even close, was it, in the end, this? So that's a concern for Trump, for sure. Forced his way in, but it's broken down pretty quickly. Yeah, concern One. for Judd, but wow, if you're Mark Allen, absolutely <laughs> delighted to see that. Just a little bit of frailty in your opponent, and you've got to jump all over that. Six.
40. Probably some work to do here, but we, that was the case with the previous two clearances he made. Twenty three. Yeah, developed those two reds. Thirty. Thirty-one. Just looks a picture of concentration and focus, doesn't he? Mark Allen. Cue ball control when he's been in has been exceptional so far. Those little 30. cannons that we've just seen, so good at those. Can't the two reds near the right corner pocket, he can play them as a plant if possible. If he gets the cue ball pretty close to the first red. And we've seen that pink that dropped in the, the third frame. So it's we know that pocket is allowing our balls to go in quite easily. So that's an option. 59. Option here also to take the red off the left cushion, but it comes with risk. Don't want to leave the Cue ball on the cushion. He has played it. And as I say, that red doesn't go past the green. So this red next to the pink, because the cue ball is near the cushion, is now not as easy as it could have been. But should it go, it's all there, isn't it? That was a risk. 45. He didn't need to take that red off the cushion at that stage. Six. I may have the angle. Play this pink top spin and just flick the red that's furthest away from the pocket away. As I say, if he misses the cannon, the plant is on. Oh, you've got to pot the pink, Judd. Judd Trump, six. Well, it's classic divided attention, isn't it? He's thinking so much about leaving himself on the red that he's missed the pink. That pocket, not his favourite right now, not least because it was the one, of course, that, <laughs> that pink went in in Mark Allen's clearance in frame three. Trump's already missed the red into it in this frame.
can't see it from that angle, but there's a bit of distance between these. Now you see, it doesn't look so easy there, does it? Well, <laughs> that stat bow as well. I've not missed one with the rest yet in the tournament. But this is the biggest of them all. And he's got it. <laughs> Judd Trumbers had a couple of good chances, you've got to say, in this frame. The final is turning against him. Yeah, and as per usual, it's the easy stuff that's letting the player down. He played so well at the start of the frame. Three great long pots, excellent Six. safety. In and missed two sitters. And those are the ones that have cost him. Seven. Or, I'd say, should cost him. Not done yet. Well, he's been ice cool in this situation in frames, Alan. We've seen it in the last two in this final. Ten. And if he can put this one away, then the opportunity is there for a big lead coming back this evening. Trump wow. really needs to regroup. Fifteen. Brown and blue needed for a 4-1 lead. So once again, he's pounced on an error. Half Callum, of course, himself missed that tricky red with the white close to the side cushion. Wasn't punished. Trump missed the pink, trying to get on the plant. And once again, Allen has taken advantage. The Northern Irishman on top here in Bolton in the championship over Judd Trump to 4-1. There's the score, 4-1 it is to Mark Allen. And uh, it could easily have been that the other way around. There's only actually two points between them on the overall aggregate, but the fact is Trump is in trouble and he has contributed, you have to say, to that position. Yep. Just a couple of misses at the wrong time. Mark Allen has been icy cool in taking advantage. Thank Four more frames six. left in the session. Mark Allen to play. Trump has been in all sorts of positions in the various finals this season that he's gone on to win, including 7-3 down to Zhang Ander at the English Open. It's not a crisis yet, but the concern is the, the opponent, I think. Alan, as I say, his temperament is superb. And you can see just from his body language, he's really starting to fancy it now. He's got Trump under pressure. That red goes towards the corner. No, that's the kind of confidence that a 4 1 lead gets you. As I say, when you're pinching these, you get so much confidence from that. And this is, well, it's a wonderful opportunity straight away. Eight. Beautifully struck long red. Hit hard enough to hold the cue ball for the black. 
Nein. Sixty. Seventy. And an excellent chance last night against John Higgins. Or one four seven. There's no way we'll be thinking about that at the moment, but certainly the way the Reds are situated. There's no way. No, no point in 20. at the moment playing for any other colour apart from the black. Twenty-five. Of course, Trump made one in the final last year against O'Sullivan. Right now, he's in a bit of trouble. Yeah, and that finally did go 6-1 behind there as well. They ended up losing it, of course. But these multi-session matches, you can win them in the first session just by getting that huge lead, establishing that dominant position, forcing your opponent to chase, knowing that they can't afford to make any mistakes. an angle here possibly to just get their cue ball out a bit for the black it's pretty straight may go up for the blue yep it's because it was so straight if he left the cue ball there be forced with a black that was just too tricky cut his losses Yeah, right now he wants to stay on top in the match. And really turn the screw. Obviously, if he does win this frame, he's guaranteed some sort of lead coming back tonight. The chance to take a really big one into the evening session. 53. Clever six. positional shot to leave himself a little angle in this red. He can just brush off the remaining six, go up for blue or bulk color. 61. That one red that's come out is, is going to be all he needs to secure the frame. Blue, red colour will be enough. This, these two reds below the pink are planted to the right corner. That would be very handy.
66. Just looked far more clinical when he's been in, Mark Allen, than his opponent today. You, you don't, don't fancy him making a mistake when he gets in. 67. So, needs this in to leave Trump needing snookers. Looks like Mark Allen has made his move in this final. Yeah, he's made some excellent clearances, and in this frame he's got him first. He's killed it off in one go. And Judd Trump has serious problems now, just trying to limit the damage in this session. Of course, he could still get out of it, only 5-4 down, but the fear is he'd be a long way back when they return this evening. Allen looking very confident. Yeah, he won those three tournaments last year, of course, but this today has been far more impressive, in my opinion, the way he's played today. 80. Been say, very, very clinical. Eighty seven. Eighty eight. Well, he's playing really top-level snooker now. Been a pretty faultless frame, this. 95. Black, then, for his fifth century of this year's Champion of Champions. 95. Yeah, immaculate. Immaculate break. I suppose if you're nitpicking, you can see the mistake. He had to screw back for the green when he landed straight in the red to the left corner pocket, but 103. that's a, a blemish. And it's been a clinic in cue ball control. 95. And this is Trump's problem. He may have had to rely on a Mark Allen mistake to get in. He didn't make one, so he's got to get it himself. Of course, he was doing that in the last frame with good long pots, didn't stay in. He's got to produce this sort of level now, you think, in this session to stay in touch. That's assuming he gets in again. 150. Yeah, it's very difficult to impose yourself on someone that's playing this well. That's the problem Judd's got. And Trump, of course, three titles this season, but Mark Allen, three in the last year himself. He's got the winning feeling as well. The winning formula. 124. As he targets a second champion of champions title, and he's halfway there with this frame. 130. Terrific stuff, this from the Antrim man. <laughs> this black for a total clearance of 137, just to underline how much he's in control of this final. He's going to take some stopping now. Judd Trump has got to find the golden form he's shown us in the last few weeks. He's got to produce... ...play with this. It's 5-1. Well, it's certainly not over yet. Far from it. But Mark Allen, he's halfway to victory. It's worth saying, of course, the very seven. start of the year they played in the World Good Grand Trump Prix final. Allen led 7-2 after the first session, and it ended up a right old scramble on the colours in the decider. So these matches can turn. But from Trump's perspective, he doesn't want to leave it until tonight to come back. He wants to make it closer here this afternoon. And we have 
three more frames to play. Yeah, these long matches are about momentum. And at the moment, it's all with Mark Allen. Judd Trump has somehow found a way of turning that round. And at the minute, the only way he can turn it round is by just making no mistakes. That is a mistake from Mark Allen. There is a path in playing this red to right corner around the back of the black. There's a gap to get round. Take the cue ball back up the table. Uh, kind of typical when you need something to happen for you. Good pot on nothing, snooker on everything, in fact. Yellow. Yeah, I don't think he played the cannon at all. I think he just mishit it slightly. Got the pot. This is good, though. Oh. Oh. Past the yellow. Mark Allen himself was 6-1 uh, down in the UK final last year. The UK Championship to Ding came through to win 10-7. He won't be taking this for granted yet, but he must be very satisfied with his performance. Obviously, the scoreline is great, but the way he's got there, stealing a couple of frames, then making that total clearance, this is the sort of snooker you want to project the final, and he is doing. about that pot. Mark Allen. <coughs> Mark Allen. Well, Mark Allen's had a look. He's asked Brendan Moore, the referee, to replace the cue ball. Mark. 
Yeah, slight adjustment. <laughs> but it just seems that Judd Trump, he's on the back foot right now. He's such an aggressive player, of course, but these are tough times for him. These few frames we've got left going to decide how he's feeling coming back this evening. It's one of those, isn't it? And we see it with the longer matches. If he gets out of this 5-4, you know, it will feel like he's in front. But, of course, the opposite could be the case. He could be a long way behind. Yeah, poor safety from Judd. As I said, he's been outplayed in that department all afternoon. This red, there's pressure on it. Obviously, the way Mark's playing, expect him to get it. He can just play for the pink to left middle, but not a lot to do with the cue ball. Yeah, I decided to go back up for blue with a sort of element of safety. And how well did he strike this? have gone wrong. Six. Chibo could have just snuck in behind that red, but he's fine now. A little bit surprised he didn't go into the bunch there from that blue.
that, though. Mark Allen has got the, the balance back in his game again. I think a lot of people felt towards the end of last season he, he really went into grinding Six. mode. Of course, he'd won a lot of tournaments, but that semi-final with Mark Selby at the World Championship, that was a tough old stuff, not really playing to his own strengths. Whereas now he's playing some really Six. good safety, yes, but he's also in the mood to attack. The long game is good, he's scoring well, so it makes him very tough to beat. Not least because, as I say, he can handle the occasion as well. I think it's very nice to have that sort of game to fall back on if you don't feel you're, you're sort of the scoring part of your game, the potting part of your game is at its strongest. Nice Thanks. to be able to have a game that you can go, go back and still win. But I think the biggest difference is he's, he's seen the shots and getting down and playing them. I think a lot of time last season... Oh. He was walking around the table looking at things that didn't need to be looked at. I think he's just more positive, everything he's doing now. Yeah, he's been saying, actually, he'd been looking for something this season. He wasn't happy with some of his early performances, but Wait. things have changed in a big way here in Bolton this week. And now he's closing in on a pretty formidable lead here. Yeah, shaking the head. That's one of the loosest positional shots he's played all day, actually. I see he's not happy with that at all. He knows how close he is to securing this frame. But it made a big difference. So the break is over, the lead 50 points. Now can Judd Trump at some point get in and fashion the kind of clearance Mark Allen was making earlier on? This is a great pot. This is a little careless positional shot. Just flicked a bit of run inside on the cue ball there, which sped it up off the cushion. And what a wonderful pot from Judd. Mm. Didn't hit that well at all. Didn't get into the cue ball. Play this blue, little bit of left hand side, one cushion, can in the black, full ball, leave himself on the red, to right corner. And he's played the straight cannon on the red, and it's okay. Is far from okay. Massively overcut it. Yeah, he's trying to stay on the pink because a red and a pink would be 44 in front, be 43 on. He's not kind of finished nicely on it. Be 
can pot it. Trump needs a snooker. And it's going in. It wasn't a straightforward chance, but Trump had some sort of chance there to certainly claw Seven. his way back into the frame. But it has to be said, his challenge here is wilting. Yeah, that was a very weak attempt, that pot. Worryingly so. Nowhere near the pocket, that cut. It wasn't difficult. Mark Allen, six. Well, he's stuck the red, so another frame going to Mark Allen. And I would say this final turned on one shot. It was actually the ball that looked like Allen had missed, the pink in frame three as he was clearing up to this right corner. And Judge Trump's face afterwards, he certainly thought it wasn't going in. Seven. But it did, and Mark Allen has ploughed on since then. And he's now just four from victory. We've got two more to play this afternoon. Eight. And right now, if Judge Trump can win them both, that would be some result for him. So not a clean frame, but Alan right. has won it all the same. That's all he cares about ultimately. He's ploughing on here in Bolton this afternoon with two. He leads Judd Trump 6-1. Welcome back to Bolton. I think a lot of people were predicting, maybe hoping for a close final. Of course, it still could be, but at the moment it's one-sided. Mark Allen is 6-1 up Mark to Judd Trump. To There's two more frames to play in the first session. And uh, Trump has made very little impact on the last couple. <laughs> At the end of the day, you've got to get to 10 to win. There's no rule about how the frames are won, but clearly Judd Trump needs to try and dig himself out of a hole here in this session now. If he can win the last two, he's still trailing, but at least he's within some sort of range. Anything worse than that is going to be very tough. It was a very tough one, this, the white close to the bulk cushion. He had two goes of going in. Has left a starter for Allen here. One. Allen's not the sort who would take his foot off the gas either because he's well aware of Trump's capabilities. Can't afford to throw him any sort of chance. Keep the pressure on here while he's on top. Seventy. 
18. There is the lovely champion of champions trophy. Of course, each of these have won and are looking to become only the third player actually to win it on multiple occasions. Ronnie O'Sullivan and Neil Robertson, the other two. Yeah, no angle really on the blue. That's going to be the brown. Twenty two. Twenty three. That was another nice red. A red that's if you're six one behind it's actually quite a tricky little shot, but six one in front. You just take it in your stride. Another one, just a typical Mark Allen shot. Beautiful little cannon, beautiful touch. 29. Just wondering if he's going to risk screwing into the pack here, leave himself on the black. Thirty-seven. Again. Had the angle to go into the six reds, but chose to trust his cue ball control and get nice on one of these reds, which he hasn't done. Forty four. He is going to need to go into them to win this frame at this visit. Having a look there, no plants on to this right corner. So this next shot, important, and well, you could see the the frustration in his face there because he didn't get on that red the way he wanted to. He's so tuned into this match, so focused. I say there's no plant, there was no dead set plants. They can obviously manufacture something, possibly. Well, now he's de <laughs> desperately looking for one. Yeah, he's um, the last couple of frames. He's, he's won the frames, obviously, but a couple of times he's. I just thought he should have gone into the reds. It's obviously the, the way he wants to play. He doesn't want to risk anything. But the last angle in the blue, he had another lovely angle. And it, and it just would have made winning the frame easier at this visit. So Trump possibly sensing a chance to come back to the table here. Yeah, 
He's had another look at the pack. Middle, well, looked at the middle two, looked at the end two. They're not touching those reds, so he could make it. I don't think he can get to the angle from where the cue balls ended up. He needed the cue ball pretty much level with that red near the left cushion. So a reprieve for Judd Trump in this frame. And he won't be happy about playing a safety shot back to ball because he doesn't really want to open these reds up and certainly leave one on for Judd. Well, he could get to the angle. He had to hit that first red pretty thin. 58. That's incredible, because if you, if you watched his expression leading up to playing the shot, you think he's in absolute bits here. He's not on the plant. The break's over. He's looking for a safety. As you say, he doesn't want to open the reds. In it went. He needs another red after this yellow. But he's brushed the blue and not on that red to middle. Yeah, he's got good memories of this right corner pocket, though, isn't he? If he wants to play this red in a, a fairly slow pace. You mentioned that pink earlier on that just never looked in, but it did drop. Nothing to do with the cue ball. I say nothing to do with the cue ball. I thought he would fully commit and just make sure he caught the red, but wow. stunning. And well, you can see how he's not going off in the middle, but I have to give you credit, David. You called this. We were all in the green room trying to say the predictions for the day, and you thought Mark might win comfortably. He's not won yet, obviously, but it's, it's the way it's panning out. Well, it's kind of you to say, but it's not over yet, as you say. But, yeah, I think sometimes we fall into the trap of always thinking it'll be close. But the players are so good, it's possible that either one of them could take a grip of things. I kind of like the way Alan's played this week, particularly last night. Brown for the extra points. So it's two snookers needed here. Otherwise, it's 7-1. 65. Mark Allen, 65. Trump returns to the table. As I say, two snoopers needed. <laughs> One. Pulls that red in. So if we can take it down to one red, then maybe the chance increases with the free ball and all the rest of it. Eight. Kind of sums it up, doesn't it? In fact, he's missed Eight. that. He's obviously, as I say, he's trying to clear all but one of the reds. He's missed that one. Yeah, the way he made that century break, the shots he was playing at the end, who would have thought that would have been his last frame he would win this afternoon so far? Incredible. Trump's seen enough here. And he's now in deep, deep trouble. 
Mark Allen is playing to a high standard. Judge Trump is struggling to get involved. Allen, with one frame to play, leads 7-1. Frame of the opening session of the Champion of Champions final coming up. Whatever happens, Judd Trump Thank is in serious trouble. Judd Trump Mark leading 7-1. Can Trump at least end on a high? If he could win this frame impressively, it gives him maybe a bit of confidence coming back this evening. Just lost a few close frames, some good clearances from Allen early on, and then the last three, Trump really has not been involved in at all. Yeah, I think 8-1, it's all over. 7-2, you still think there's a glimmer there. One. blue into the right corner, Eight. angle on the blue to pink and hopefully open the reds everywhere and land on one and try and win this last frame. That's the plan. Nine. Ideal on the, on the blue. So full on the face, the pink, try and keep the cue ball in the middle of the table. Could have hit him much better. Cue ball didn't stay in the middle of the table. And that's why he's not beautifully on a red to get on a colour. He's got a couple of options. You can see them to this left corner. One good shot here. And what a chance to win this last frame. His last lifeline, you would think, in this final. Just 14. not happening for Judd Trump. What a sickener for him, as I say, just trying to end. I mean, he would have been in trouble even if he'd have won the frame in one visit, but at least end the afternoon on a high. Will he uh, get another chance now to do that? Maybe not. Has he ran out of steam in terms of winning these titles for the time being? He's had an amazing month, Judd Trump. Like you cannot take anything away from this man. He's been superb today. Those the third and fourth frame have been the bedrock for this performance. Two wonderful frames to steal. It's that one.
six. Oh, Judd. Well, I'm f first I thought he was going to be straight in this red, but I think the red's just Seven off the seconds. cushion. Yeah, he's got enough angle to get out for the black. Eight. Huge visit to the table if he's got any chance of winning this final. Well, as I said earlier, the World Grand Prix final between them early this year, it was last season, that was 7-2 to Allen at half-time, ended up in a decider. Judd Trump at his best can reel frames off in no time at all. Well, three more pots he needs here to salvage something from the afternoon. Yeah, he's not exactly left this uh, in an easy position. Got the spider out. Yeah, and he was nowhere near. Wow. Put himself under it there. Forty-seven. What? Could Mark Allen summon up yet another clearance? That would feel like the, the last nail being hammered in the coffin. Well, he's looking at three cushions to cannon these two reds above the black. It's 
pretty close. It's pretty close. Oh, just flicked the black. Good effort. Just needed Six. an ounce more pace on the cue ball. Six. <laughs> it's just, it's finding it so hard to find a good shot, Judd, at the moment. It's it's so difficult. You've got to try and put everything in to try and win this last frame, but you're so deflated about the way the afternoon's gone. It's really difficult to find that focus. But as I said, if he loses this frame, I can't see any way back. No, I mean, people will be able to recall finals that have been won from a long way back but the reason they can recall them is because it's a short list it's very rare to see someone come back from this position in a in a big final certainly from 8-1 yeah it's Balls are situated. You've got to think next mistake could prove a frame loser or frame winner, whoever makes the mistake. <coughs> mm, that yellow one on the cushion will not bother Judd Trump, but it certainly would make Mark Allen's task a bit more difficult. One part of his game, you'd have to say he's been there all afternoon. His long game has been pretty good, pretty consistent. As I always say, it's the it's the easy stuff that he's he's done wrong or he's made the mistakes. Ramp. The Trump one. And then you see 50 behind 51 on, but the black's in open play. So, yeah, I mean, we'll put it this way. If he did get in and, and win this frame, then that is really a killer blow to end all killer blows. Trump just wants it on the scoreboard now. A couple of hours to regroup with his brother Jack and try and come out fighting right from the off tonight. That's what he'll need to do, regardless of whether it's 8-1 or 7-2. So this red for the frame. There is pressure on it. Mm, why hit it so hard? Why hit it so hard? Just make sure the pot. And wow. Okay, it's not easy. He obviously needs three blacks with these three reds, Mark Allen, to win this frame. But he just came across that one severely. But he might just drop the red in. Play at a gentle pace, make sure the pot. Can't 
can Mark Allen get position in the black from this red? He's obviously chosen just to try and play for the respot. Can afford one pink for that. Well, I think there's going to be a handshake. Regardless of that, it's been Mark Allen's afternoon here at the Champion of Champions. And when they return tonight, he will need just three more frames to be the winner. There's the in-off that ended the session. But he is the man in control here. Judd Trump has it all to do when they resume at 7 o'clock. It's Mark Allen leading at the halfway stage by seven frames to two. Thank you very much.